So what are the conditions under which a free zone company will be exempt from corporate tax? Now, like I told you a short while ago, the conditions are twofold. One, these companies, the free zone entities that we are talking about should maintain adequate substance in the UAE. Now, what is meant by adequate substance, how it has to be dealt with is something we are going to discuss in one of the separate sections, which is ESR as a part of this course. And second is they should comply with all the regulatory requirements. Now, the regulatory requirement may differ depending on what free zone you are there. Each of the free zones have their own requirements in terms of, you know, the preparation of accounts, the board meetings, other things in terms of the filing, etc. But if you want to claim an exemption from corporate tax, you have to comply with the regulatory requirement which are applicable to the respective free zone. If you meet both the condition, you will be eligible for 0% corporate tax rate. If you do not meet the, these conditions, then this benefit is not available. Now, even when you are eligible for a 0% corporate tax rate, you still need to see the nature of transaction that you are doing as to whether that transaction itself is eligible for 0% corporate tax rate or it is liable to tax at a rate of 9%. Now, these examples are something that we are going to now cover as a part of various examples and various other things from the rest of the course. So let's look at the taxability of the free zone entities. The free zone entities are entitled to claim a 0% tax rate, but it is only in respect of certain specified income that a 0% tax rate can be claimed. This benefit is not available on all the incomes. What are the specified income that we will see in the next few slides one by one? But it is also taxable. And again, the taxability is in respect of certain specified income. But what those incomes are, again, we're going to see one by one. However, in order to prevent the free zones from gaining unfair advantage. Now, free zones have been designed for the purpose of certain specified transactions. If they start doing business, which a mainland entity is also entitled to do, they may just gain an unfair advantage because while the mainland entity may be liable to tax at 9% on their profits, a free zone entity may seek to claim benefit of the 0% tax rate. Therefore, it has been provided that in certain cases, if they get particular kind of income and what that income is, we are going to discuss a bit later, then that will disqualify the free zones from claiming 0% tax rate on any of the income and their entire income will be taxed at 9%. I would like to repeat this because this is very, very important. The purpose of free zone is a specific purpose. If they go outside that particular purpose and try to do something which only a mainland entity is permitted, then in that case, they will be disqualified from claiming a 0% tax rate, in which case their entire income is going to be subject to a 9% corporate tax rate. Or maybe, you know, uh, if they are part of a global multinational, which is covered under the GMT, the global minimum tax regime, the tax rate may be higher. So now in the next few slides, what we are going to do is we will go through each of these income one by one. 